Hello students, I am your 15 minute teacher. I will be teaching you mathematics for 15 minutes. Are you ready? The next mathematics lesson that I will explain to you for 15 minutes is Illustrating Rectangular Coordinate System and its Uses Now consider this We have these two number lines And one of these number lines Will be placed horizontally And the other one will be placed vertically These two number lines will intersect at both zeros And they form the perpendicular line First let us define properly the rectangular coordinate system. Rectangular coordinate system is composed of two perpendicular number lines, which meet at the point of origin. 0, 0. As a result, the plane is divided into four regions, called quadrants. Note, in creating a Cartesian coordinate plane, the X and Y axis and the numbers should be aligned with the grid now let us identify the parts of Cartesian coordinate plane first is origin it is the point of intersection which is 0 0 X axis it is the horizontal line that is found on the plane. It is also known as abscissa. Y axis. It is the vertical line that can be found on the plane. It is also known as the ordinate. As you can observe, the plane was divided into four regions. It is called quadrants. The quadrants are named counterclockwise. We will start at the upper left region. It is named Quadrant 1 or 1st Quadrant. Next would be Quadrant 2 or 2nd Quadrant. Lower left would be the Quadrant 3 or 3rd Quadrant. And the last would be the Quadrant 4 or the 4th Quadrant. In the 1st Quadrant, the X coordinate is positive and the Y coordinate is also positive moving in counterclockwise direction the second quadrant the X coordinate has a negative value and the Y coordinate has a positive value moving on in the third quadrant the X coordinate has a negative value and the Y coordinate has also a negative value and the last region the fourth quadrant the X coordinate has a positive value and the Y coordinate has a negative value now let us try to plot a point on a plane and determine what quadrant they lie for an instance, we have point A. This point lies on quadrant 2 or second quadrant. So, we categorized point A is in the second quadrant. We have another point. Point B here, which lies on the fourth quadrant. So we categorized point B is in the fourth quadrant. Point C is marked here, which lies on the third quadrant. So we write point C is in the third quadrant. And this is point D, which lies on the first quadrant. We have, point D is in the first quadrant. Now let us try this point. Point E. Does it lie on the second quadrant or third quadrant? We say that point E lies on the x-axis. What about point F? Yes. Point F lies on the y-axis. 
Now this time, we will be identifying the coordinates of a point with help of the Cartesian plane. Always remember that the coordinates of a point is consist of x and y. Now let us try point A. In identifying its coordinates, we need to create a horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point and a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point. Example Point A Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point which is negative 5 and horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point which is positive 3 so therefore the coordinates of point A is negative 5, positive 3. Now let us try point B. Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point, which is positive 6. And horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point, which is negative 3. So therefore the coordinates of point B is positive 6, negative 3. Now we have point C. Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point, which is negative 7, and horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point, which is negative 6. So therefore the coordinates of point C is negative 7, negative 6. Now let us try point D. Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point, which is positive 2, and horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point, which is positive 2. So therefore the coordinates of point D is positive 2, positive 2. Let us try point E. Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point, which is negative 7, and horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point, which is 0. So therefore the coordinates of point E is negative 7, 0. Let us try point F. Create a vertical line along the x-axis from the given point, which is 0 and horizontal line along the y-axis from the given point which is positive 7 so therefore the coordinates of point F is 0, positive 7 this time we will be plotting a point the coordinates of a point is given then we will plot the point in plotting a point, we will remember these steps. 1. Draw a vertical line through the x-axis. 2. Draw a horizontal line through the y-axis. 3. The point of intersection of these lines would be the position of our point. Let us try point C. Point C has a coordinate of negative 4, negative 6. First, we will create a vertical line to negative 4. Second, a horizontal line to negative 6. Third, the intersection of these lines would be the position of our point. So point C is located here. How about point U? Point U has a coordinate of positive 3 positive 5. First, we will create a vertical line to positive 3. Second, a horizontal line to positive 5. Third, the intersection of these lines would be the position of our point. So point U is located here. We have point T. Point T has a coordinate of negative 7, positive 2. First, we will create a vertical line to negative 7. Second, 
a horizontal line to positive 2. Third, the intersection of these lines would be the position of our point. So point T is located here. And lastly we have point E. Point E has a coordinate of positive 6, 0. First, we will create a vertical line to positive 6. Second, a horizontal line to 0. Third, the intersection of these lines would be the position of our point. So point E is located here. Uses of Cartesian Coordinate Plane Cartesian Coordinate Plane is used in plotting point. And it is used in navigation of airplanes and ships. It is also used in locate an area in a map. It also used in GPS. And is also used in locating a country, longitude and latitude. Fun Fact the one who improvised Cartesian coordinate plane was René Descartes. The story behind it was when he was watching a fly on the ceiling from his bed. He wondered how to best describe the fly's location and decided that one of the corners of the ceiling could be used as a reference point. That's how Cartesian coordinate plane was created. He was a French mathematician a philosopher, a metaphysician. He is also known as the father of the modern philosophy. That's it. We are done in illustrating Cartesian coordinate plane. I will leave an exercise for you to practice what we've learned. See you in my next video.